Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome. My name is Shanika. This is my channel, My Life in Inspo, and you are tuning in to Shanika Gives Advice. This is episode three. I am super excited. Today I'm going to be speaking with you about morals. Yes, yes, it's, it's a must. Um, I'm excited. Of course, I'm going to kind of tell my little story. I have hundreds, but uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about an experience I had where my morals was definitely not um, in place, not where I needed them to be. I do want to encourage you to like this video, comment on this video, let me know what you think share this video tell a friend to tell a friend i would love to have you guys stick around and be a part of this amazing community and have a place where you can come to um to receive information and advice and not feel judged or like your questions are silly or anything of that nature for everyone that is returning Thank you so much. It means so much to me that you continue to give me some of your time. I know there's so much you could be doing, so many other things. So for you to feel the need to take some time out of your day to spend with me, that means a lot. If this is your first time, I hope something in this message sticks with you and it brings you back. For my Shanika Gives Advice segment, I post every second and fourth Saturday out of the month. So make sure your notification bell is on so you never miss an upload. All right. So with talking to you guys about morals today, um, I do want to start off with the definition. So, of course, I'm going to give it to you in my own words, but I want to give you the official definition or definitions as well so morals a person's standards of behavior or beliefs concerning what is and is not acceptable for them to do also concerned with the principles of right and wrong so pretty much um your beliefs, what you believe in, what you what you stand on, um, what you're just not going for. And knowing the difference between right and wrong. And of course, we want to choose to do right. But I do know that sometimes that's easier said than done. Um, I definitely feel that it's very important for you to have your morals in place because when you do not, you can definitely land yourself in some very sticky situations you end up hanging with people you shouldn't be hanging with you end up doing things that you should not be doing and it definitely messes with your mindset and it can also cause you to view yourself differently maybe in a negative manner and people that you know you care a lot about in their opinion they can begin to kind of be looking at you sideways too when you move in a certain type of way that you should be moving. So I definitely feel like it's very important to set standards for yourself and set them high. We ain't doing low standards over here. Set your standards high. Hey, this is what I expect. This is how I expect you to move. This is what I expect from myself. This is how I'm moving. And set those standards high. If people aren't willing to rise up to meet those standards, baby, we, we're not stooping down. So if they're not willing to rise up to meet your standards, you don't need them anyway. But just making sure you have standards in place for yourself. Um, what is it? Drawing a clear line in the sand, you know, that you will not cross. I, I, I don't believe in this and I'm not moving that way and I'm going to stand on it. 
Um, I don't believe in drinking and driving, so I will not put myself in any situation or um, in any environment where that may be put on the table. Um, I do not agree with using drugs. I know the things that drugs can do to you. Um, it ruins relationships. You know, it can ruin future successes. It's bad for your body and it can put you in dangerous situations. So I do not believe in that. And I'm going to stand on that. And I will not put myself in situations or an environment where doing drugs could be put on the table. Just setting standards for yourself. Morals, knowing the difference between right and wrong. At this age, you know, the age that you guys are, teens, young adults, let's be real. You know the difference between right and wrong. Been there, done that, knew the difference, chose wrong. And that's why I have so many stories. <laughs> but um, you definitely want to make the right decisions. Even though making the wrong decisions in some instances can seem like the fun thing to do um consequence consequence um you know i tell my son all the time there's a consequence for everything that you do so whether that's going to be like something negative that's going to come from it or something positive every action um, there's going to be a reaction there's going to be a response to that action so you have to think about that when you're faced with um, a dilemma, you know, a tough decision. Do you do what's right? Do you do what's wrong? You have to know um, what you are willing to be a part of and willing to put up with and willing to do and what's just a no-go for you. Um, there was a lot of instances where I knew right from wrong. I knew I shouldn't have been doing this. I knew I shouldn't have been doing that. But it was fun. Everyone was doing it. We were having a great time. And it landed me in a lot of tough situations, um, hanging with the wrong crowd, allowing people to get in my head and, you know, making decisions based off of the decisions they were making, I guess you could say. And, um, yeah, it put me in a lot of tough situations. I'll tell you about one of those situations. So when I was young, teen, yeah, when I was like a teen, um, in my, in my younger years, probably like later on in high school, the, the later end of high school, 11th, 12th grade, um, I had a bad tendency of, dating guys or being involved with guys who were already in relationships and I knew it wasn't the right thing to do um I knew it was wrong but it was just like you know I'm interested he's interested who cares about the girl at home who cares about the person he's dating um it doesn't matter like I don't care that he has a family this that and a third and another thing, you know, when I was very young, a teen and young adults, I dated older guys. So that definitely landed me in very, very um, complicated situations. Like I was saying before, when I like to party and have a good time, it was always with older people and hanging with people that's that's older and that's in, in a, a different mindset, in a different place in life. Um, you know, you, you think that you're kind of on their level that you're keeping up, but you're really not. And it causes you to mature quicker. It causes you to land yourself in some suspect situations. So, um, dating older guys, you know, they're in relationships. They have whole families at home and, you know, it was crazy because it caused me to like end up in different beefs with women, like calling my phone, threatening me, showing up to my house. Uh, you know, I had my first son at 19, so I had my apartment when I was 18. 
and you know calling my phone showing up at my house like threatening me ready to fight like it was just a lot you know fighting over guys that's already in relationships fighting over guys with other girls that's also side cheeks and know that they have whole families and in relationships and it was just a lot my morals were definitely not there like i had i had no standards i had no sense of direction of the things that were truly important to me, the things that I should value in myself, it was not there. I knew right from wrong and I continuously chose wrong. I chose wrong in the people I was hanging with. I chose wrong in the things that I were doing, the, the people I involved myself with, um, just how I moved, period. Um, it was just I was not in a good place. I was not making smart decisions and it showed. And when you don't make smart decisions, when you're not very aware of the things that you are doing and just knowing right from wrong and choosing right, um, it can land you in very, very um, tough situations where you kind of look back like, I knew I shouldn't have did that. Now I'm here and that's where the consequence comes. So just definitely having those morals in place and knowing what is and is not acceptable. Like what you're just not going to do. I feel like it would save you a lot of heartache, a lot of disappointment, a lot of just trouble. It will really save you and... Okay. And another thing that I want to talk to you about is just with those morals. Okay. I don't want you to feel, think, or believe just because you moved a certain type of way then or up until this point that you can't come back from that. Because I am one of those people who believe, you know, anything you go through and you get through you you can come back from that you can always wipe your slate clean and you can always start over and be a better version of you who i am today where i sit now in my life i was not that way when i was a teen and young adult i was not this way three four years ago it's it's a process you know, when you're young, you think you have it all figured out. You think you have all the answers. Nobody can tell you nothing. I know it all. I know it all. And honestly, that's not the case. And that's where having a strong, pure support system comes into play because life, life is a journey, you know, and it's not, I don't feel like it's a journey meant to take by yourself. It's meant for you to bring your loved ones along with you. So I feel like having a strong support system definitely helps you in navigating life. You know, having pure people around you with pure intentions. Um, but I don't want you to feel like just because you were partying and drinking and smoking and you know, you you can't come back from that. You can't uh, wipe your slate clean. Or because you were dating this person, dating that person, and you did this and you did that, that you can't wipe your slate clean because that's not true. I don't care what anyone told you. I don't care how bad they talk about you, how bad they try to down you, throw dirt on your name, stomp all over your name, he say, she say. I don't care about you know, the negative thoughts that you have or the views you have of yourself that's not up to par. No, you still hold your value. I don't care what anyone has told you. I don't, I don't care about any of that. I'm telling you, you still hold your value. It's not too late to take a stand and say, this is what I want for myself. This is where I'm trying to get. And this is how I'm going to move to get there. Anything else, unacceptable, period. We're not doing anything else. This is, we're having tunnel vision. It's okay to do that. And now is the time to do that. There is, hey, we've all been young. We've all made mistakes. 
We've all done things that we wish we could sweep under the rug and forget about it. But I'll tell you, one of the main things that has helped me and continue to help me um, on this path in life is living my truth. It's not hiding. It's not trying to make it disappear or making making people believe like I just like I want you to forget the person I was I want you to forget the things that I did you know no it's just accepting I did what I did um I was who I was and I've changed I've grown I've evolved I've forgiven myself you know I've asked for forgiveness and I'm moving forward. I'm going to continue to strive to be the best version of me. And I'm not going to let my past or my past mistakes hinder my growth. And I want you to have that same mindset. You are still bomb. You are still bomb. You are still it. You still have your value. You, you are still an amazing person. It doesn't matter the things that you've done. It doesn't matter that you've made mistakes. We're human. We make mistakes. But what we're not going to do is continue to make the same mistakes over and over because then you're choosing. You're choosing wrong, right? Wrong. You're choosing wrong. So we're not going to continue to make the same mistakes, but it's okay to make mistakes, learn from them and move on and just know that you still hold your value. I want you to get up every day, look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, I still hold my value. I'm still bomb. I'm still amazing. No one can take that from me. I'm learning. And that's all life is. Life is about learning life is about growing and evolving and sometimes um you know lessons are better learned live and some of us we just have to go through it to fully understand it and that's completely fine so you still hold your value you still hold your value but let's get those standards up let's get our mind right um knowing the difference between right and wrong choosing to do the right thing and hey when we make mistakes when we fall short just learn from that mistake stand up tall lift your head up and we're going to push forward and continue to work on being the best version of ourselves like period that's just what it is but that's what we're doing we're that's what we're doing. Um, but as always, that's my little advice for today. That's my 20 cents, not two. And yeah, so if you want to leave a comment and let me know what you think about morals. Let me know of a time where your morals were kind of a bit questionable. Any advice you would like to um, leave in the comments for others? Any encouraging words? Anything that I missed that you would like more information on, definitely um, let me know. And once again, like this video, comment on this video. I want you to share this video with a friend. Please, please share this video with a friend. Subscribe and hit the bell so you will know when I upload because I do have kind of like a split schedule i have um days or weeks where i upload for my cleaning and lifestyle um content and then i have days and weeks where i upload specifically for you guys on shanika gives advice so definitely make sure you are subscribed um i love you guys um and before i let you go i do want to <laughs> remind you today tomorrow and always be gentle with yourselves because you definitely definitely deserve it i'll see you next time